day, I just thought it would be fun to show you what I eat in a day during an online school day because spontaneously for this uh, next semester we're starting it off with online school because of the rising cases of COVID. Again, I'm just going to uh, show you what I eat because I eat probably more than I would in a regular day. I just finished my first period class and I have a few minutes to eat something else because I just ate a bowl of cornflakes and that's obviously not enough. I have a lot of fruit so I'm gonna go prepare that now. So I have a lot of variety here so I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything. class is US history which is a relatively easy class and because I am online usually the classes end much earlier than they would in person because you know in person you have to like stay to the end of the period no matter what but for this like usually the teachers will just end the lesson early and then you can just be off doing whatever you want to do. I'm just here eating fruit and waiting for my next class. So it is that time where I make ramen and I'm gonna have so much fun doing this because I've been hungry for like the entire day basically even though I have eaten stuff. Also I have a Peppa Pig band-aid on the side of my face so ignore that. But I am going to make shin ramen which is probably one of my favorites. Just some nice beef bone broth uh, and it's so good. I'm gonna have it uh, pot style like that so. in a few minutes so I'm just going to have uh, an orange this one's not going to count I'm going to eat one of these I just wanted to take some time to talk about some books that I have that I am currently reading slash am wanting to read really soon. The first one is the one that is for school and that is Zora Neale Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God. This book I had heard about like briefly before. I just heard of this title before but I never knew what it was about. Essentially it's about this uh, woman Janie Crawford in the 1930s. She's African-American and she just wants to uh, be an independent woman. It's really hard for me to read at points because the dialogue is written in the way of a southern accent. So any way that a southern accent like pronounced some Thing, it is spelled out exactly how it sounds and that makes it very difficult to read um, especially because it's just in large paragraphs and if you're trying to absorb all the information and try to understand what they're talking about you still have no idea because you gotta like comprehend what it actually says before thinking about it. It's just hard to read. It's like a, it's just a lot of like really harmful relationships and harmful stereotypes about women just being thrown at her all the time, but it's entertaining to say the least. Janie just goes off in this book. So uh, I will finish this in the next couple days because I have to, but yeah. 
So that is the book that I'm currently reading right now. And just the other day, the other day meaning like yesterday, I got this book, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. So this one I just kind of randomly saw on the book talk table at Barnes and Noble. I don't really know what it's about. I just know that it's like body switching murder mystery with a time loop. And it, that's just, that's already appealing, right? Also what caught my attention was just the fact that it's called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, where there's another book called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I did read a couple months ago. That really uh, fascinated me of how similar the titles were, but how different the actual story is. So I will be reading this hopefully soon. I wanna do like a reading vlog for this one because it's just so interesting. So now that I'm actually reading again, I will hopefully be returning to that. So that's all I wanted to say. if you got this far i hope this was like a mildly calming or entertaining video for you and i hope to be putting out more videos very soon because there are a lot of books for me to read and movies for me to watch and tv shows marvel disney plus shows especially so i want to be able to like review those alongside books so that is it my nose is really stuffed up i will see you guys in the next video i'm about to say and it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. <coughs> there we go.